following video is to help you to re-tape your the skin if it ever comes off. It it will happen every four or five years anyway. Now, first thing you you get a good tape. Uh, um, there are many electrical tapes on the market, eighteen millimeters wide. Uh, uh, 3M is the one that most uh, most makers use. I don't use 3M. Uh, I use a, what I think is a better one. Um, <clears throat> First of all, you need to preheat the tape. Uh, I do that by uh, leaving it for five minutes in fairly warm water. Dry it off and then I'm ready and what you need is the tape and a knife to cut it at the end okay first of all put it so there's from here uh, to there one third of the width of the tape go right around it make sure that you don't stretch from here to here very much okay and keep smoothing it down keep that distance short this distance here short so it's not stretching the tip Continue on right round, keeping this short, keeping it short and one third out over the edge of the tone ring. Don't stretch it at all. Okay, just keep doing it like that. It's one circuit completed. Okay, cut. I'm moving out at least one third now. I'm doing that slowly. So there we are, that's one third out from the side and move it outwards don't stretch make sure there's no bubbles keep it short cut Okay, now we move on. That's one circuit completed. Now we're moving out to the last third of this bit, nice and slowly, and complete another circuit. Cut.
So, so that's the third circuit completed. And now I'm moving out over the edge. Now you can see that there's one step, two steps, three steps. I can see it probably better in this reflection. One step, two steps, and the third step. Right. I'm moving out over the edge. <clears throat> Still, make sure you don't stretch the tape. Nice and Okay, cut. That's the fourth or fifth round, fifth circuit completed. Now, I'm changing the position of the drum. So there's up that way. And I'm watching here. Now I'm going to move in and end up there with the next circuit. And again, uh, make sure that it's, I'm not watching the inside now, just the outside. I'm watching this distance from here to the pins, okay? I can make it a wee bit longer. It's less relaxed and it's more accurate if it's longer. Okay. No stretching. Nice and relaxed, not stretching. Okay, cut. Right, then coming up to complete completing that circuit. And the moving out is that's completed there. And now I'm moving out to close about an eighth of an inch from the uh, tacks. <clears throat> and I do a relaxed bit, first of all, nice, and not stretched, nice and, nice and this. Now, <clears throat> from now on, I'm for putting in a lock, a locking uh, circuit. I'm stretching the tape this time. I'm stretching it really hard, really tight. I'm going along there. This will have the effect of locking everything in place. Okay. Cut. That's that locking circuit finished. Now, to prevent any pull, relax it again, a nice loose piece, piece. Uh, it's just loose piece that will ensure that the skin and the tape doesn't pull itself off the, the drum just nice and relaxed and then I move up slowly onto the face again Cut. The next thing, I'm moving in slowly and I'm going to go about an eighth of an inch beyond the tape and I'm going to make sure that it looks very smooth and circular and nice and relaxed, not stretched. Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. Okay. Not stretching it in any way. Can make it a wee bit longer so that I can get it more accurate. Okay. Not stretching it now.
and to complete yourself a bit there. Be careful, nice and gentle, move out over the edge and I'll cut it here. That's it. Slicing it, smoothing it down now. Next thing, just rub it in, everything in tight. Now you can notice all the steps. Now, one, one, two, three, four. Okay, four steps on all done very accurately.